start of the second U.S. International Philatelic Exhibition. On October 16, 1926, the U.S. hosted its second International Philatelic Exhibition in New York. America hosted its first exhibition 13 years earlier, also in New York. The Post Office Department hadn't yet created a division to cater directly to stamp collectors, so there were no U.S. stamps issued to commemorate the event. A lot changed by the 1926 exhibition, which marked a number of firsts. For instance, it established the pattern of U.S. exhibitions being held on years ending in six. The show opened at 2.30 p.m. on Saturday, October 16, 1926. From the White House, President Calvin Coolidge turned a golden key connected to the Grand Central Palace, formally opening the exhibition. Thousands of collectors lined up to view 800 frames, which each held 30 pages. The total value of the stamps exhibited was estimated at over $10 million and included the famous British Guiana stamp. It was the first time the legendary stamp was displayed in the U.S. The biggest story of the show was the White Plains Sheet issued on October 18. In addition to issuing the stamp in a standard pane of 100, the post office also produced a miniature sheet of 25. This was America's first souvenir sheet. This show also marked the first time the Bureau of Engraving and Printing authorized stamps to be printed outside their Washington headquarters. The post office exhibit included a printing press where these miniature sheets were printed. However, they were never gummed or perforated and were later destroyed. In addition to the White Plains sheet, there was a set of four Cinderella's printed by the American Bank Note Company. Mechiel's weekly stamp news described the exhibition as having been a success beyond belief and that it exceeded the highest expectations in every respect. Its editors predicted it had established philately in the front rank of recreational studies. 